Hi, everybody. I'm so excited about being here today to tell you about a project that we are all so excited about. We have created this project. And guys, this project is going to do some amazing things for kids for education. And we want you to be a part of it. We want you to reach in those pockets and please donate to this this amazing, amazing project that we are going to be doing in uh, in Kenya, uh, Africa. And it's going to benefit many, many, many people that are participating in it. And the project, guys, is called Create and Innovate, Championing Tomorrow's Leaders. I know you want to be a part of this, so please, please support us. And I've brought some people in today that are going to be a big part of this. And I would like for you to hear from them. And I'm going to introduce to you Mark Soro, who is uh, who runs an NGO in Kenya and has 15 CBOs under him. He, he is really doing some amazing things in this community of Kenya. I'm going to bring Mark on and let him tell you how excited he is about being a part of this project. Mark. Thank you, thank you so much, Carol. Ladies, lady and gentlemen, today I'm thrilled to introduce a project that is very close to my heart. And it is also close to our hearts create and innovate. This initiative is, is designed not just to foster creativity and pioneering ideas, but to prepare and propel the next generation of leaders into future they will inherit and reshape. Our slogan, championing tomorrow's leaders, is not just a tagline. It is a committed, and our promise, it is a commitment and our promise. In a world where technology and ideas evolve and lighting speed, it is crucial that we invest in the young minds and we lead us through the challenges of tomorrow. The Create and Innovate project is a dynamic platform where young talents can express the realm of their science technology, engineering, arts, and mathematics. Here they are not just learners, they are innovators. Encouraged to think big, take risk, and push boundaries. Why do we focus on these areas? Because they are bedrock upon which the future is built. By fostering the curriculum that is idea-driven, dri and diverse and encountered and interconnected and the real world, into the real world. We prepare our students not just to participate in, in the future, but to shape it. Hmm. They will be creators and new tech, uh, of the new technologies, the designers of the new art, and the architects of the new theories. This project is our investment in the future by providing tools, mentorship, and a resource. We create environment where the natural curiosity of the youth is nurtured and turned into tangible projects and solutions. We are not just teaching them that we know, we are asking them to tell us what they dream Championing for tomorrow's leaders means we give them the space to fail and support to succeed. Yeah. It means we listen to their ideas, no matter how unorthodox. <laughs> it means we prepare them not for the world as it is, but for the world as it could be. Oh. As we launch the Create and Innovate project, we call on educators, industry leaders, policy makers to join us, support in this course, mentor a student, volunteer your time, invest in the future, let us together champion the leaders of tomorrow by giving them the tool to create and innovate today. Thank you. Wow, 
Thank you so much, Marks. Thank you so much. Um, so I have some more people that are participating in this and I want to bring them on. I'm going to ask Yusuf, please come and share what it means to be a part of this project for you and your and the students. Uh, th thank you, Carol, for giving me this chance to put across my my enthusiasm and uh, on this project. So the, the project, project Innovate is uh, going to instill a lot of creativity in our students. And uh, we are going to use a criteria, a very good criteria and a very proven criteria to identify one of the most brilliant, brilliant students in 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 our area in Kenya. So these uh, the project create and project innovate is going to have three areas of participation. One we are going the students are going to participate in art. They are going to participate in essay of which I'm very enthusiastic as a writer. I want to I I'm looking forward to seeing how these children are going to bring about their creativity in the essays. And also they are going to participate in projects where they are, the students will come up with simple and creative, innovative projects, environmental projects around water and, uh, and other stuffs. And also the benefits that th this project is going to bring to the students is that, to all participants, is that it has a broad base and enhance an understanding and mastery of key concepts, which are going to cut across far beyond the environmental sustainability mm. and uh, will foster creative and innovative best approaches to sustainable issues and eventually promoting academic and career success by inculcating creativity and innovation among all participation participating learners and also the benefit that it will bring to the teachers is that on general and scientific proven grounds tailor-made and need-based competition like this will provide opportunities for these teachers to integrate academic su subjects into practical contexts and reinforcing learning outcomes. And in fact, organizing and gui guiding students through this unique competition will invigorate their interest and motivation, thus leading to higher engagement levels in classroom as activities. So I'm um, really, I can't wait to see this project being enrolled. Thank you very much, Carol. Oh, thank you, Yusuf. Thank you for being a part of this and and really and truly uh, bringing that passion, that energy for for children, for uh, having them thrive in their lives um, and in their education. Okay, Kennedy, can you come and share with us um, your excitement around being involved in the project? Uh, thank you very much, Carol. Thank you very much, Mark. Thank you very much, the rest of the team. Um, Project Create and Innovate is one of the uh, unique, one of a kind project that uh, is looking forward to uh, working with basically the underserved. We've had a lot of competitions um, and projects, uh, almost, uh, you know, including those from privileged uh, students. Project Create and Innovate is one um, is very unique because first we are looking to uh, an inclusive approach where we are working with the underserved, the less fortunate children. We want to give them a chance to express how creative and innovative they are. We want to bridge the gap between the high class and the low class. We want to tell them that there is something in them that is worth exploring. We want to elicit this potential. We want to bring it to work. So this project is basically focusing on environmental sustainability. Today, the world is very complex. Issues are even terribly difficult to handle. Climate change has become a global issue affecting Kenya and affecting the rest of the world. It needs a collaborative approach. It is not something for the government. It is no longer something for uh, uh, they have it. We want our children and youth to understand that without their effort, we are not able to fight this fight. Mm. So this project Create and Innovate is giving a very rare opportunity for our children to showcase how creative and innovative they are in the fight against 
climate change. This is going to be a platform that the teachers, parents, and the community as a whole is going to experience one of the best revolutions in the history of fight against climate change and action. We call upon every other uh, stakeholders to come on board, witness how tremendous we are going to impact, not only on academic aspects, we are also going to fight. We are going to make it a grassroots fight, mm -hmm. moving up to the government and to the national and to the global level, so that when we voice this, everybody will be able to join us and understand how pertinent it is to come together and fight the global menace of climate change. Thank you so much. Wow, thank you, Kennedy. Okay, and now we have Daryl. Daryl, please come and share your excitement for this project and what it means for your, your community. Thank you very much for this time. I'm very excited for Create and Innovate. You know, I believe that uh, every child or every human being born will have that potential of creating and innovating. So I'm excited to be part of this program, such with my experience in the community, I know the challenges that uh, the children within the community, sometimes they miss very important opportunity of uh, having chance to showcase their talent where they can create and innovate. So with this project uh, largely on environment, we know there are the environmental issues and the challenges that we are going uh, uh, through. As uh, when this project will come up, we'll be able to get it from uh, what these children understand in the community about the project and how this project will build them. It's possible that they have something unique that us, maybe as a member of the community, we may not understand because the perception that we have and theirs is a bit different. And uh, that unique thing that they have, when they bring it out in the course of this project, we'll be able to work on it, to make it bigger and have an impact for the community, the parents at home, their school and the world at large. So I'm very excited to be in this project. And in fact, I know we are just over excited about this. And I know the people will come up and support us. And one, um, one thing I'm sure of, you'll never get disappointed. You'll always enjoy and be part of this team that want to create a, a community that has the children that are innovators and uh, they're creative to be a future leaders. You know, nowadays we have leaders, the curriculum that we are going through, they are just directing us what to do, but this one will come from in, mm. inborn from the mm. children. And that one will make great leaders, not corrupt leaders. Because when you are directed, you'll get corrupt, you'll have a corrupted mind, but when you get it from inside you, it's within you and you'll be great. Thank you very much for having, taking chance and your time to participate, to participate in this program. Thank you very much. Wow, thank you, Daryl. Thank you, everyone. So guys, we are asking you to support this project. This project, guys, is about, we are going to put this competition together. This is for the kids. Their ideas are gonna come out. Their genius, their, their uh, greatness is gonna be shown. And then we are going to, actually kind of be like a shark tank where we're going to have them pitch the the projects they put together and they're going to be voted on and one of them's going to win a full full ride scholarship we want to put them all the way through the end of college that's the that's the the big piece of this project is we're going to put one student all the way through school all the way to the university and graduating. And then we're going to have three runner-ups that, that get $2,000 toward their education each. Please, please share this with everyone. Please, please donate whatever you can 
there's no 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 price that we're looking for please donate whatever you can to make this happen to make this work and this is why i'm behind this 100 percent uh so excited for our collaboration with kind heart organization their ngo and then all the cbos under them thank you thank you for listening and oh by the way we are going to have some of the kids that are going to participate we're going to make sure that they get interviewed and you'll be able to see that in this video later down the line thank you thank you for your time thank you for your donation bye everyone